What is long COVID and how long does it last? How long it takes to recover from COVID-19 is different for everybody. Many people feel better in a few days or weeks, but for some people, symptoms can last longer. When symptoms last weeks or months after the infection has gone, that's when it becomes post-COVID-19 syndrome, more commonly known as long COVID. As the rates of COVID-19 have risen, so too have the number of people who still have symptoms months after being infected. Before the pandemic, scientists thought certain viruses were connected to people feeling unwell for months and sometimes years after the initial infection. People who get sick with glandular fever, also known as mono, can end up feeling fatigued and unwell for longer than it takes to recover from the initial infection. That's what seems to be happening with COVID-19. Scientists running a study in the UK began to notice people reporting long-term effects of coronavirus within months of the pandemic being declared. A study by the UK Office for National Statistics suggests one in 10 people testing positive for COVID-19 may exhibit symptoms for a period of 12 weeks or longer. Long COVID is a complex condition with a wide variety of potential symptoms that involve many parts of the body. The symptoms of long COVID can include extreme tiredness or fatigue, shortness of breath, chest pain or tightness, problems with memory and concentration, symptoms people often have with COVID-19, like a fever, cough, headaches, sore throat and changes to sense of smell or taste, skin rashes. The severity of the symptoms vary from person to person. People who had mild symptoms when they had COVID-19 can still have long-term problems. And not everyone will get all the symptoms. That's one of the things that makes this condition challenging to understand, diagnose and treat. Exactly how long post-COVID syndrome lasts for varies from person to person. Some people recover in weeks. Others are still experiencing symptoms for more than a year after their original infection. There's no definitive answer to how long someone might have long COVID for, or who might develop long COVID in the first place. Research is ongoing to try to better understand the condition and its possible risk factors. The REACT Long COVID study is following people for one and a half years after having COVID-19 to improve understanding of long COVID's mechanisms and long-term symptoms. This research has shed light on things that could increase the likelihood of experiencing long COVID. These include being a woman, smoking, being overweight or obese, living in deprived areas, being admitted to hospital with COVID-19. The same study also found that Asian people had a lower risk and increasing age was also linked to persistent symptoms. So just how common is long COVID? Results from one of the REACT studies involving over half a million adults suggest that one in 20 have persistent COVID-19 symptoms. This means that it's likely that millions of people in the UK alone could have long COVID. If you enjoyed this video, head to the description and click the link to delve deeper into the research seeking to better understand long COVID. Thanks for watching.